<laughs> Remember, we're doing exercise one, configuring FSRM. Now, let's go to file resource manager. Now, for some reason, I don't see anything like FSRM here. Did you see anything like FSRM? So, we need to install it. Let's go to the dashboard. We click on add rules and what? Features. We click on next. We click next. Of course, we install it into server one. We click next. Then we scroll down to where you have file and storage services. Expand it. Then you see file and SCSI services. Expand it. Then when you scroll down, did you see where you have file server resource manager? Can you check it? Of course, you always know the procedures. They are certain uh, um, uh, features that goes along with certain rows, right? So we click Add Features. We click Next. Next again. And of course, for best practice, we restart the destination server if it's required. Then we click Install. The rows are is finished installing. The next step is to go to Tools. Then we go to File. File Server Resource Manager. I will click on the tools and we screw down to File Server Resource Manager. So open it. Remember, we're still on task one. We're going to be creating the quota templates, right? Okay, the snapping is coming up. Because those of you using using SSD, you should your, your stuff should be displayed by now. Now, did you see that? So you see everything we talked about in class they are all there. Yes. Quota management, file screening management, storage reports, classification, and five uh, file management tasks. Are they all there? Yes. Exactly. You see, that's one of the things I've told you guys about the server system. It's so interesting that. Uh, after the theory aspects, when we come to the practical side, it gives us a more detailed meaning of some of the big words we've mentioned on the screen. Are we together? But in this practical, we're not going to the rest of them. We're just going to be working on the quota management. Is that not correct? Yes. So can we expand the quota management? Yeah, did you see where it says quota templates? Mm -hmm. Can you click on it? How many uh, quota templates do you have there? Six. Yeah. You have how many? Six. You have six. <clears throat> you see, each of these quota templates contains different types of templates. One of them, um, it's um, limit reports to users uh, with five, five fifteen megabyte extension. I Meaning this will work, what will be with this user, but just giving them a fifteen megabyte extra. extension extra, just in case it reaches its limit. Then, of course, you have soft and you have what? Hard. Now, yeah? it's simple. The soft quote ex uh, extends, allows the user to extend using what? The storage. It's just that the administrator will be notified. It's just a hard quote. Even though the administrator will be notified, it prevents the user from exceeding the limits allocated. Yeah, that's just a major uh, difference between them. So, we are asked to set. A uh, user quotes a uh, hard quote of 10 megabytes folders uh, for, for a maximum folder. And we should configure the templates to record event on event log when it reaches 85%. Is that not correct? So did you see where it says create a quota template there? Can you click on it? And we are asked to give it what? How many megabytes? Huh? Uh, 100 megabytes, right? Okay, let's leave it at 100 megabytes. And um, just a minute. Um, Okay, and the template name, 
I call it um call the template um uh five share limits call it five share limits now you see here on the on the space limit because we're asked to create a hard quote on the space limit you have 100 right now if you notice you have hard quote do not allow user to exceed the limit soft quote allows users to exceed but use for what monitoring like i said only just notify the administrator now it says notification threshold <laughs> according to the lab we were asked to create a notification threshold should be what to use event log right now click add on the threshold now you notice on the threshold you have a lot of menus there right you have emails event log command and what reports now for the emails if your computer was having probably running an email server or probably you have an an email uh, server configured on your server system what i can do is that i can come here and select emails then put the administrator email so the moment the user exceeds it, i will get a notification on my system i, I will together based, based on this email okay so i'm going to uncheck it it says generate the report when it reaches 85 percent i can come here and say when it reaches what 50 percent i can say when it reaches 95 percent when it reaches 10 percent so we'll just accept the default 85 percent now according to the lab we're asked to submit it on event log instead of on the emails so i'll select event log I will say send warning to event log. Of course, you can also insert emails as well uh, based on the system on your computer if you want to insert some variables. So we're going to accept that as default, which is 80%. Okay. It says when the, okay, on the event log, it's when the, uh, when the, um, when the folder reaches um, 85, 85%. And 100% capacity. So we we'll click OK. Okay, we can add another one. Then we we'll say 100, right? Because that's the two we are asked to do. It says when it reaches 85, and when it reaches what? 100. That's it. So that's the two there. Because it says capacity when it reaches 85 and what? 100%. So you can add as many. Are you getting me? And you can differentiate them. Maybe when it reaches 95% email, when it reaches 50% event log. Okay. Are we together? Yes. Okay. Now, you see the quota limit has will be created. It's called five share limit. Is that not correct? And it's a hard quote. So, we, now, we don't have a quota. Do you see the reason why we have to go and create the quota template? Because when you create a quota, we need to use a template to match the quota. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to tax two. So the quota isn't created yet. Excuse me? The quota, the quota isn't created yet, yeah. So we're going to use a farm resource manager to create a quota. So our quota is drive E, lab files, MOD10, users. That is the name of the folder. So guys, can we go and create that folder? And I'm going to pause now, so we just create a folder. Selected users, open users, then select the URL here. Then, of course, of course, automatically it will select the entire uh, path, then copy. That's all. If that is copied, then let's go and configure. Let's go and configure the quotes. Now, the, the quotes we used, we we're, were supposed to use the task one, the quota template to create it as one, right? Mm -hmm. To configure that code. So we go to File Resource Manager now. Under Quotas, we can right click and say Create Quote, or we can come to the side and say Create Quota. Then what's the path? You just right click and paste. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh? yep. Then it says Create a Quota, Create Quota on the path. Mm -hmm. Or Auto Apply the template and quota on existing and so if i select the second option as you create content after users any folder you create after users it will automatically apply them oh, okay. or if i wanted to make it auto i would have only just added the lab files and every other folder within lab files will automatically have that limit 
So we just create a quota on the path. Then we go to the templates. Our template is file share limits, right? Yes. So that's it there, file share limits. Is that not correct? So our notification is there. You can see it there, right? That's your notification. Is that not correct? So it's exactly the same way we set it up. Okay. Then uh, just uh, we click create. Now they said we should create an additional folder name. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Configure the quota to auto apply on existing and new stop folders. Can we double click again? Um, on the quota templates. Okay, can you just delete this? Delete this quota. Can we go back? Just create a new quota again. Paste the path. Actually, the lab says we should auto apply. Is that not correct? Yeah, I, just, I, didn't, I, just, I didn't read that. It says we should auto apply to existing and new folders. Then on the drop down menu, we select file share limits and we, create, we click on what? Create. Okay, auto apply. Now it says create an additional folder named Max in the user folders and ensure that the new folder is listed in the quota. Now listen carefully. Let's refresh. You can see we only have one quota template here. Is that not correct? But you see there's a star there, an asterisk sign. Yes. That asterisk sign is what indicates the subfolders now. That's why you have that asterisk sign. Mm -hmm. In case as you create more, this template will be applicable to what? The rest of the folder. So now let's go to our drive E. Yes, subfolders, yeah, from there. So let's go to the uh, user folders. That's MOD, lab file. So we open MOD. Lab file. So let's create an additional folder called um, Max. So we click on New, and we type what Max. Then we click. So now let's go back and refresh. Did you see there's another folder called Max there? Yeah. Is that not correct? Okay. Now let's test the quota. Let's test the quota. So let's go to. Uh, let's go to um, PowerShell and use the folder command to create a file in in um, in a Max folder. So let's go to PowerShell. Of course, since you're logging as administrator, it will pop up as an administrator. So type E, double colon, then press enter. Then type CD space backward slash lab files. Backward slash MOD ten backward slash users backward slash max the press enter. So now we are in max folder now. So now that's why C C D is used to point to the direction. Yes, yeah. So we'll now say F util fsutil space file space create new space file one dot txt space eight nine four zero 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 is five zeros right one two three, four, and five. Have you done that? Yes. So press enter. It says the file has been what? Created. It says we should check the event viewer for an event ID 12325 to check if something actually if something actually came up. So let's go there. Let's go to the event viewer. Let's go to the server manager tools event viewer Okay, let's check the Windows log. Something happened. Can you see the application log? There's a warning. It says user PC has exceeded how many? 85% quota threshold. And where? The quota limit was this, and 85 is currently being what? Used. Now, if you were logged in, now listen carefully. If you were logged in on the client's computer and this particular folder was shared on the network and the user on 
the Windows 8 computer client also did the same thing. It will not show, it will not show administrator that it will give us the name of the user. So I will exactly, I will know exactly who created a file that exceeded that limit. Are we following? Yes. Okay, now let's go back. We are asked to test the quota. We've test that. So it says we should test the quota by work, uh, by attempting to create another file, uh, 16,000, uh, 16 million uh, bytes. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's type FUTL, FSUTL, space, file, space, create, new, space, file, two, dot txt which is text space one six four zero 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 five zeros right now press enter error there is not enough space on what yes. let's go and find out on the event log if we have any information on the event log so let's go to the event log There's a warning. It says, has exceeded the what? 100%. Maybe because he tried. So it exceeded that limit. Are we together? So currently, there's only how many are uh, used? It's 85.26. Is that not correct? That is currently used. Which is 85% of the total of 100 megabytes. Remember, this can be 2 gig, can be 10 gig, can be 1 terabyte, can be 5 terabytes. Are we together? Yes. Yeah, it can be, are you getting me? It can be any size you want to create. Okay, so guys, um, that is quota template, a quota limit. So this is not on the hard drive now. Yes. This is not on where? The folder. The hard drive is still there with 40 gig. But the user is restricted. So all the shit, remember we did uh, development, remember we did development and uh, marketing. We can create, we can apply them to, we, we can, if I want to limit the size, right, I can create a quota template, then apply them to that template. Because it's on the shared network. Yes. Then I can apply them to the template. You're sorted. A company just calls you, we just want to limit the size they can store content on the hard drive. Tell them that's not a problem. Okay, now, let me pause this and... Um